Now, opposite boots in Peckham, South East London, Peckham, 12 bus, 171 bus, 197 bus. It's the bits, it's the area. So Chantel, jump back in and let's hear about your continue to hear about, there you are girl there you are want to hear about your success story man i love to hear success stories because this man you want to work for yourself you don't like getting up on a monday morning to work for somebody else come back chantel we hope and pray the reception <laughs> strong my team <laughs> You, you sound like a Kung Fu master there, you know, oh, one of the martial arts movies. I'm one of them weird laughs. Don't double play it. about. <laughs> <laughs> you killed my teacher. I'm going to get you. <laughs> get revenge. <laughs> yes, you did. Okay? <laughs> Don't bust me up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Shani... So tell us a little bit. Sorry, carry on. We're going to do our best. But, you know, I might move, obviously not now and today, but I'm going to, I might move this whole entire platform onto Zoom because the reception is better. The present, presentation is uh, hell, heaven a lot more better than what's going on here. Yeah, but, yeah, please sorry, carry on. As I was saying, um, about so much has taken place this year. Um, but, yeah. Naturally, That's right. TV, yes. Um, you open up the second has thing. brought a lot more traction to the business online and offline. Um, as in to the shop as well as to my website um, and yeah and you know I'm excited to see what is next you know because um, it's a great opportunity and it's a great platform and it's about I guess not being stagnant I'm all about you know what I mean what's next you know what's next and I want to walk in purpose and you know I didn't anticipate that I was going to be on TV you know when I entered into this year but one thing that I did say when I came into this year is that I want to expand my territory. Hello, stop. Yeah, sorry, little miss. She should be in bed. <laughs> but yeah, I stepped into this year and I said I want to expand my territory. And obviously, I've done that with the shop. I've done that with the TV show. Um and yeah, whatever's coming next, boy, bring it on. <laughs> That's incredible. This is what I love. And you spoke that into existence. You you got your own business. I love your shop. I love the way it looks, the way it's positioned as well to the high street. It's really good. And um I want to congratulate you. And we like to bring people like you on our Black Car Speakers Lounge because we it's all about inspiring. So tell us, what do you what comes to mind when I issue the word, what's, what should be the main focus? Going into 2022, what should be our main focus, especially us as a community, those who are believers in the most high God, what is our focus? Um, what should be the focus? It, okay, so well, it could be individual as collectively, um, knowing what your purpose is, you know, like what is why are you here why are you alive you know um what can you do to help your fellow man you know sorry one second one second sky upstairs please upstairs i'm coming sorry. okay go on upstairs i'm coming <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> i'm coming okay. don't worry don't worry go on <laughs> um yeah um it's all about walking in purpose and I, I think a lot of people don't fully understand or comprehend what that actually means and i feel like when you know god you know yourself even more so and we all have a purpose here on earth you know we do and it's not about ourselves like it is about ourselves but it's not just about ourselves if your purpose is selfish then it ain't really a purpose purpose is all about what you can do for another person or because as a community we're not that tight knit like we'll come together with short spurts mm. you know something will bring us together whatever that might be good or bad and then we go back 
about our own business everyone's just kind of tunnel vision you know what they want to do where they want to go you know it's all about me me myself and i la -di -da. and then something will bring us back together again you know and it'll be like yeah 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 you know we can talk the most you know but then when it comes to action you know mm. and putting that you know what i mean talking to motion it's like we drop off again i think we've, we've all been guilty of yeah. it you know what I mean, we've all been guilty of it. You know, lives yes. get busy, we get distracted yes. by this, that, and the other. And the world that we live in today, there's ample amount of distractions, whether through social media, media, news, yeah. TV, Netflix, look outside your window, you know, whatever the case may be, there are so many distractions going on. Um, and even your life itself, you know what I mean? So, a lot of people are in dysfunctional situations mm. that in itself can be a distraction because it consumes yes. a lot of your energy it consumes a lot of your time. time you know what i mean and it, like i said we've all got stories to tell in it we've all wasted time on things and people and situations longer than we needed to and yes sometimes it's you know a learning curve and it's something we kind of need to go through to get through but then sometimes it's repeated cycles, repeated cycles. And after a while, you kind of have to come to a place where you just, no, nah, enough's enough. Enough's enough. There have to be more. You know what I mean? I want more. I'm worthy yeah. of more. Like, yeah. And I guess it's all about recognising our value and recognising that we actually have so much power within ourselves. Like, there is so much power if we actually just dig deep, just take a little bit of time out and just dig deep. But, Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I've, I've, it's doing the janky thing again, Lepshin. Oh, Lord. Instagram, and your Meta, <laughs> Zuckerberg, fix up, bruv. Um, sorry, darling. Mm, it's all good. Um, Mark Zuckerberg, fix up your <laughs> thing. Because Mark, this whole, uh. Don't try to kill our vibe. Don't try to kill our vibe. <laughs> Exactly. On a whole tantrum. <laughs> but yeah, I feel yeah. Trying like, to I'm murder not really the one for like New Year's resolutions as such. I I do vision boards. You mm. know, I love a vision board. I love to see clear. You know, um, cut out pictures, cut out things that are you know what I mean whether it's a car or. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how much I might want to make that year or what I want to see from my business. You know, um, yeah, I think vision boards are very powerful. And also the words that we speak, you know, like words have power, isn't it? It's like light, light and dark. We can either move ourselves forward or get in our own way. And sometimes we are our worst enemy. I mean, like talking ourselves out of blessings. You know what I mean? Talking ourselves out of opportunity because we think... You know, we don't have the confidence or we're not worthy or we're not ready or like, nah, take that step. Like, you, yeah, you might have fear. Yeah, you may even doubt even, but still take that step because you just don't know where it will take you to. Like, a lot of people be like to me, like, you're so confident and you're so, you're, you're a go-getter and all of this, that and the other. And yeah, it might come across like that, but don't think that that is... You know what I mean? All that goes on. Sometimes I've got to fight myself, you know, and say, nah, Shan, like, you've got this. Look how far you've come. You know what I mean? And I think sometimes you have to, like, look at how far you've come and all the things that you've overcame and all the things that you thought you couldn't do or wouldn't do that you are doing. You know what I mean? Like, you are doing. So, yeah, I just think be careful about what you speak over yourself. Words of empowerment, man. Even if you don't feel it or believe it at the time, still speak it. Because before you know it, you're walking with that essence. You know what I mean? All right. Many people wake up in the morning and don't feel beautiful. Don't feel... Look in that mirror. I'm alive. I can see. I can smell. I can speak. I can hear. I can move my hands. And you know what? I'm beautiful. My black skin is beautiful. My hair is beautiful. My body is beautiful. Yeah, yeah, there might be things that I might want to change or whatever. Yeah, that will come. But right here and now, I accept me in it. I accept me, and I'm beautiful. 
or I'm powerful, or I'm smart, yeah, yeah. you know, or I'm blessed, or I'm worthy. <laughs> You're absolutely right about that, 100%. And this is why my title was to say, the title was, what's the main focus? Because there's so many distractions going on right now. So many, and beautiful what you just said there. We have to have tunnel vision. We literally have to now, I mean, it's okay to party and enjoy, but I really believe it's time to sit down and look at what should be the main focus. And all of these things change. Or, 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 or The most important conversation is what you're going to have with yourself. Okay. What goes on up here? The silent, silent conversations. I love the movie Lord of the Rings. I know a lot of black women don't like watching Lord of the Rings or Star Wars. And um, yeah. you watch Lord of the Rings, yeah? Why don't black women want to watch oh, Lord okay. of the Rings? Okay, I don't know why they Look, a lot of black women, ah, what's that? What's that? And like, Lord of the Ring, not Ring, Ring, like, Ring. <laughs> Lord of the Ring. Lord of the Ring. There's a character in there called Gollum. Gollum, or Smeagles, who is this hideous looking character played by the wonderful actor Andy Serkis. He is a character that has conflict within himself. Where one minute he's like, Master hates us. No, Master loves us. <laughs> master wants you to get... So there's, there's, there's yeah. a conflict going on. And um, all of us have that in our minds. And what we do here at Black House Speakers Lounge, we always say to, we always say to self, to others and kind, be careful what you're Come. putting in your, 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 your brain. Come be on. careful the music Come that you're on. allowing yourself to listen to. Be careful the news. You're watching too much of it. I mean, even if you just got the news, play, uh, the news or the music playing in your house, it's right, still going in your subconscious right. mind. Your brain is like a belly. It's the, it's the first belly. Second belly down here, first belly up here. You're taking on everything in your environment. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The subconscious mind is key. So when uh, everything I've manifested in my life is because I visualized it, I thought about it, I spoke about it, and placed myself yeah. in the environment. Yeah. It's no abracadabra. It's literally yeah. majestical in the way our life works. But if we're looking at too much of what Carl Rittenhouse did in America, if we're looking at too much of what happened in Liverpool, condolences to those who are victims of the terrorist attack, if we're looking at too much of older oh, lockdowns coming and doom and gloom, then you're feeding your mind these things. And then you're going to manifest you Without are doubt. what you eat. Without a doubt. Yeah. So it's my mindset to always feed positive. I can't watch the news all the time. I can't uh, mm -hmm. inundate myself to... with it. Yeah, no, sorry, just on that note, like, I used to, I used to watch a lot of news, like, all different news channels till, like, crazy hours of the night and all the rest of it, and you couldn't shut off from it, even if you're sleeping, it's like you can't shut off from what you've just literally witnessed or visualised or what they've told you, you know what I mean, like, truth or lie, you know what I mean, and I, talk, I tell my daughters all the time, like sometimes some of the music that I hear them listening to, I'm like, turn that cack off. Like, do you even hear half of what these songs yep. are talking about? It's a holy rubbish, you know? Mm. And I'm saying, they just think, oh, you know, you're just being a bore or whatever. We're not even listening to the lyrics. We're just, it's a good tune. But like, even if you're not listening to the lyrics, it is going in there. Be careful of what you're watching. Like, there's only certain things that I can watch on TV. Like, and if I watch it and I, I anticipate something's going to happen that ain't really, my spirit is off. I'm like, no, nah, I can't. Because if once my eyes see it, I can't forget. You know what I mean? Because I've already done seen it. You know, there's certain conversations. Like when certain people start talking negative and all the rest of it, in my head, I'm just like, I reject that. Anything that's not in line with my faith, I just reject. I reject. I can't get involved with gossip and slandering oh. and negativity. It, like, no. Nah. It really ain't my portion. It really ain't because I've done too much work 
within myself to then start getting drawn back and drawn into certain things that just don't fit me anymore. You know what I mean? It don't fit me anymore. You know, I had a Come little on. friend and every time I'd go around her house or be around her, she would just be effing and blinding. And, you know, I don't swear. And she knows this. But, like, every minute, it's a curse word out of her mouth. Or she's talking about one friend here or one friend there. And I'm just like, these are the kind of conversations. They're not edifying. This, this ain't inspiring to me. So Come why on. am I actually keep putting myself in this position? Because I know when I leave your presence... I'm going to feel heavy. I'm going to feel burdened. I'm going to feel a little bit icky. Nah. Like, so I take myself out of anything that just doesn't fit me. You know, and my spirit is sensitive to that. Straight. Like, mm. and I feel like as I've got older, I don't need to be around a lot of people. You know, um, I don't mind being by myself. I actually enjoy my own company. Um, so when you're talking about, you know, things that go in your head and whatnot, I can drive in my car and not have music on, you know. Um, I don't mind ha being alone with my own thoughts because it allows me to digest and really analyse how I'm feeling, what I'm feeling, why am I feeling that way? And I guess being a little bit more in control of my emotions. And then I don't allow anything to kind of draw me out of that because it's not easy to. Like, because it's like giving someone power over you, right? And I can't do that. I've done that for too many years. Gave people power over how I was feeling, how I saw myself, how I felt about myself, what I wanted to do with my own life. Like, no, no, no. Like, no, I took my power back. <laughs> and I feel like that is what we need to do. It starts with us first before then we can come together as a collective. And don't get me wrong, there's some amazing people doing some amazing things out there, especially in our community. But they need, they need numbers, they need backing, they need support. And I feel like until we, as a people, let's just say, have actually done the hard work within ourselves, gone through our healing, you know, accountability, I feel that's lacking in our community. Account, you know, I mean, someone just to pull, mm. pull up her brother in it, say, "Yo, brother, like." What are you doing? Come, fix up, man. Like, rather than just watching someone doing something and you're just like, oh, it's not my business. You know what I mean? It ain't my mm -hmm. business. Like, and if we all have that same attitude, then come on now. We'll just find ourselves in these same ruts that we have over the years. Because no one literally wants to... Keep doing the same mm. thing. Keep doing the same come thing. On. You end up in the same place. And it's so important. You know, I went to a nice, nice rave yesterday in Telegraph Pub for it still. Big up Telegraph. Big up the massive that was there. And it was revival okay, music. I went into Adelaide revival singing. music when I was... Was a lady called young. Adelaide? Yes. Yes. I dressed her. Adelaide, I dressed her yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. She was looking shanking. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Yo, she... Yeah. She... she her and... Um, Another brethren from back in the day was singing on the stage. Couple of people. I, I love the vibes. I took. I see me when I have to go out. I don't ask anyone. Yo, yo, you want to go somewhere? I can go anywhere around the world on my ones. Yep. Anywhere, anywhere. That's me. Um, went there. Lovely time. So a lot of people ain't seen in ages. Pure family vibes in there. Listening to the revival music, and you're hearing songs like. Not even just revival, but reggae music. Reggae music, where they talk about <laughs> she's royal, so royal, I'm tearing my life. So, and it's, you know, you, you, you're hearing this, the rare grooves. I'm a rare groove and a soul okay. man. I love soul. I love that kind. Of, I understand the drill music. I used to be into NW, look, the 90s, you know how it was. So I'm not going to be hypocritical to the young people. They got to grow. They got to, in their own time, evolve. Big up to the young people that are listening now. Um, so we're not, we're not judging the young people. We're just saying, don't do what you. You're, you're the improvement oh, no. of ourselves. Yeah, big tunes last night. It's head to the mm -hmm. And yeah. Yo, it, I enjoyed myself. Yeah, Adelaide, man. She, she's at that open mic event right now, man. Bigger up. So um, it's so important. And we say this week after week. 
be careful of your even if you don't talk to people like necessarily in your work environment just their energy alone can infect you and you have to cover yourself when you're at work when you're on the roads when you're on the bus when you're in the car when you, you people think well i'm not engaging that, well yeah, just yeah, the yeah. fact that you're with yeah, them yeah yeah, yeah. you you can catch HIV, and I call HIV highly infectious virus. <laughs> HIV okay. highly okay. infectious virus. <laughs> and I tell people, and I'm not, I'm going to say this straight out. And oh no, I better not say that. That's for another time. I was going to talk about the the, the the thing, but I'll talk about it another time. But my thing is, I'm very careful about who I go with, who I roll with, who I date, everything. I'm so careful. I'm not thirsty when it comes to just. Right, I want to get with a girl because she looks... No, 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 no. I'm not first in it because I, I have to think about what kind of highly infectious... <laughs> so the Bible says it's better to be by yourself rather than be in yeah. a company of fools. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you better be by yourself rather than be in a company of fools. And I'm finding myself reading the Bible a lot and I'm like, wow, heavy duty. I read the Holy Quran as well. And I'm like, wow, heavy duty. And everything is it's just so, it, there's so much warning. There's so much guidance in it for me. And so right now, we're in a spiritual war. We're in a spiritual battle for spiritual supremacy over ourselves. And we've got to feed the spirit. We've got to feed the spirit. And it's, some people just need to go out all the time. You don't need to go out all the time. Sometimes you just stay in a yard. Just hold yeah, the vibes. Yeah, they're scared that they're going to miss out on something. You know? Like, you're not missing out on nothing. Nathan. And the thing is, what I've learned, what I'm learning, because I know nothing. What I'm learning, and I want to ask you a question, and someone else has got a question in. How do you change and let go of those toxic friends? And by the way, those friends may not be bad, but they are in a certain level of their evolution yeah. and you're in another place. How do we like disabuse ourselves of the fear that we may have of being alone, letting go of friends or exes? Because there's a lot of people that they want to move away from the crowd, but they're afraid. How did you do it? Yeah. Um, I feel like I've always had small pockets of friendship groups. So I've never been part of, you know, like a big friendship group. I've had, you know what I mean? A good close friend here, good close friend there, maybe three, four, you know, group friends of here and so forth. But I feel like when you become a mother, for one, two, when you've got focus, you've got stuff going on. Mm. You know what I mean? Like you're, you're busy, for, you're productive say so then you're less inclined to have time for foolishness um for too long i was loyal to dysfunction for too long i was loyal because familiarity because i've known someone for the best part of my life or well, we've been through this or we've been through that together mm. but after a while you recognize that a lot of those friendships either become one-sided or two are not helping you go any further if anything that they're kind of holding you back and i had to make a choice is it me do I, what do i want for me because if this is kind of holding me back or causing me to kind of have a different way of thinking which is not healthy then it's either i choose that or i choose myself and i have to choose myself mm. like and it is yeah. it's right like I've, there's no love lost in the sense of there's no animosity there's no malice there's no ill will love all day long but i just can't put myself in certain places around certain energy or certain people that i just know aren't really good for me right now you know especially when certain friendships when they're not really listening you know like where you can carry well they say carry a horse to water but you can't make it drink so I can be as positive as I like to be. I can give you... You can lead a horse to water, to but you can't yes. force it to drink. So after a while, I just feel like my words are not really landing. You know what I mean? I'm trying to plant seeds. I'm trying to help you recognise certain things. It's not about perfection here, like to say I'm better than anyone or anything like that. But 
when you see someone that you love and care about and they keep going through the same kind of stuff or they're always in the same position and they're still not listening, they're still not grasping that, you know what, you might be the common de denominator because you've gone through the same situation with four, five, six different people. Okay, this the reception's a yeah. bit mad. I, I hope... Yeah. Sorry, like if carry you on, sister. Going through the same situation like with different people and it's always other people it's always them it's always someone else it's always something else and it's never you come on now that's draining because i'm just like you are the common denominator and if you can't actually recognize that you are part to blame why you keep finding yourself in this same situation then after a while i'm just like there ain't much more i can really do for falling on deaf ears is here. See, after a while, you have, have to remove yourself. Can everyone hear Chantel? Can everyone hear what Chantel's saying? The key thing is you can hear. On my end, I don't know what's going on, but as long as the crowd of people can hear <laughs> what you're saying, sister, that's the main thing. For example, nice is going on with the, uh, I don't know if it's the full moon, <laughs> I don't know, but great. great. People can hear. Chantel, you know, what you're saying is key from what I picked up. And that, you know what? Oh, great, great, great stuff. As long as that's the key. Mm -hmm. You know what I've learned from this year? We can try and educate people and show people knowledge. But for next year, okay. for 2020, bless you, I call it, not 20. Yeah, we can't keep dragging people on if they don't want to learn. And guess what? Even That means it's family like, yeah. members. Straight up. Even Straight family up. members. Unfortunately, sometimes right. it is. Sometimes it is our nearest and dearest. But because they're the ones that are closest to us, it's harder. You know what I mean? It's harder. But, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, beloved. But, you know, I have to big you up. You know, and, and um, you know, this Peckham's finest, you, that is you manifesting your goals. And I want all young women of all different backgrounds to see role models like yourself and say, you can make it and still have dignity, pride intact. Dignity and pride still intact. You didn't have to go out and show everything. You didn't have to showcase your ways in terms of your uh, uh, what God gave you mm -hmm. privately for you and your your partner to be and your, your husband to be, excuse me. And it, you're showing intelligence. You're on the television. You're you got your own business. You got your beautiful children, and you got your husband to be who proposed to you as well. I want to big him up, you know. Thank you, Maxi. Yo, <laughs> the comedian. Thank you. Because <laughs> he's got a gorgeous, gorgeous wife to be a fiancé in yourself. Um, reception but no, is doing madness again. Um, one thing I'll say. Yeah. And I'm, um, I'm gonna... You know, like, for, especially young women that have might have, you know, been through bad situations or they feel like life is basically, you know, um, they're in a rut kind of thing just don't give up you know literally just don't give up there is light there is light and i feel it's just all about feeding your what they say can't to be carnally minded is death to be spiritually minded is life you know so you've touched upon a great point you know about the word of god you know because that is where that is our source well that should be our greatest source you know the word you know what I mean? Like we said earlier, life and death is in the power of the tongue, you know, and those that eat from its fruit, you know what I mean? So look at the fruits of your life. And if, wow. you know, if the fruit, if you're not happy with the fruits that you're seeing in your life, then maybe just come back because there might be certain things that you need to uproot, you know, certain things that you need to let go of, healing, forgiveness. You know, sometimes we're holding and harboring oh. grudges and ill feelings, you know, and sometimes, it, you know what I mean, it's good cause because someone might have hurt us or something or whatever, but if that is holding us back from fulfilling mm. our 
full, full potential, then what do they say? Like, it's like yeah. um, drinking poison and thinking someone else is going to die. You know, no, we're only harboring and That's right. our own selves. So you know what? Let's start looking at what we're feeding ourselves. Mm. You know, not only food, but actually what we're feeding our eyes, our ears, you know, and our mind, definitely. And just say, like, there is life, you know. Mm. Even if you're a single mother, you know, the kids to feel like, oh, someone ain't going to love you or accept your kids or accept your past. or Stop, forget all of that. Stop talking all of that. You know, like, I've been there many, many years ago thinking that, oh, my life, you know, you know, I had all my hopes and thing in this one relationship, you know what I mean? Like nine, ten years down the line and it popped down for one reason or another, feeling like, you know what, you know, what is there next for me? But you know what, when you start rewiring your thinking and rewiring your mindset, like, I'm telling you, the possibilities are endless. And you are still worthy of love, regardless of whatever someone told you or made you feel. Yeah. So, yeah. Come on. I put that one out there. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I know, and don't be afraid to talk because I mean, sometimes as people, we're afraid to actually share our vulnerabilities. You know what I mean? And our, our mm. scars and stuff. But there's healing in sharing. Obviously, with the right people in a safe place, you know. Yeah, because when you just speak it and you just release it and let it go, especially if you can find a praying person, someone that will literally pray with you, you know what I mean? Right. And just lift up your spirits until you find strength to kind of do it for yourself. And that's kind of what I had to do. I had to go back to basics. Mm. I had to literally strip myself, literally strip myself bare, you know, forgive myself for certain choices and decisions I'd made, as well as forgive others for certain things that they'd done against me and just let it go and stop looking back. Like, mm. stop looking I back. Can't. What's done is done. Isn't I, it? I have no control mm. or power over the past anymore. All I've got control is over today and what I choose to do tomorrow. That's what matters. That's all that matters as well. Like, a lot of people literally still live in the past. Mm -hmm. Like, I beat myself. You know, like when you feel like, wrong, oh, didn't I know better? Mm -hmm. Or how did I? How did that happen to me? Or why did that happen to me? Or you know, all the rest of it. And I thought, you know what? Look, as long as I do not repeat this same thing again, yeah, because more for me, if I find myself in the same position that I done brought myself out of, you know. Like, just learn the lessons. You know what I mean? Just learn the lessons in whatever life brings you. Mm. And just do your best to just not not repeat that. Because we attract who we are, not what we want. And if we forgive ourselves mm. and go through that process, then when we do that, we equally meet partners who are on the same frequency everything oh my god i'm learning I'm like, oh my god i'm learning this year everything is energy yo everything I'm is you. energy yo everything I'm everything is energy. <laughs> everything money success relationships is energy people need to understand that understand that quick fast in a hurry if you. if you're always if i'm for example always in a sun that movie, Get Out, is deep. The movie, Get Out, is deep, where it speaks about the sunken place. If you're in a sunken place, a lot of people are in a sunken mm. place right now. You're going to attract sunken mm -hmm. partners. Mm -hmm. Did I, let me say that again. If we are in a sunken place, you're going to attract sunken partners. Oh, Lord. Look, Hallelujah. That is, Amen. That Let the church attract, that is healthy attracts healthy. And, you know... Um, yeah, it's like the same way, all right. Someone that might have been either abused when they were younger, or they saw their let's just say their father abusing their mother, or being you know quite toxic or dysfunctional, and then they say to themselves, you know, I never want to, um, you know, be like my mum or whatever, but they constantly find themselves in those same situations. 
they find themselves attracted to someone that is like their dad was. You know what I mean? Or every partner, there's domestic, you know what I mean, situations and whatnot. After a while, you know, you can't be constantly pointing fingers. Yeah, there's obviously something wrong with the other person, but why do I keep attracting this same type of brother or whatever? You know? I can't like, believe. After a while, we have to actually look at ourselves. Like, what is it about me that is attracting? Like, what is it that they can smell off me or see in me? You know what I mean? That I'm not actually recognising of myself. You know, like... I, I mean, not to go into too much, you know what I mean? But like, an old partner, I I had to really dig deep and say like, how did I end up with this person? Like, literally, you know, like I had to really question myself because at the time, I thought I was in a good place. I thought I was strong, discerned, you know, um, I thought I was spiritually mm. quite strong. You know, I thought I was in a good place, you know what I mean, with my relationship with God. I just thought I was in a good place in my life. Simple as. But for whatever reason, I don't know if it's complacency, naivety, or I deceived myself. I, You know what I mean? But I literally, I attracted someone that I couldn't even believe that I actually found myself in this situation. You know, like, I was just like, what, like, what has happened here? You know what I mean? But I realised quite, well, mm. soon enough, you know what I mean? Like, the relationship didn't go on for too long. However, the fact that I even found myself in that situation, mm. I beat myself up. I beat myself up for the longest. Because I, but then I said, you know what? Stop beating yourself up and just look. Look at what the triggers were. Look mm. at what the areas within yourself that caused you or allowed your, you to be in this situation in the first place. So instead of constantly thinking, you know what I mean, I ended up with a narcissist and la di da di da di da All right, yeah, that was all true. But you know what? Let me look on me. Because I can't do nothing for no one else. I have to do it for me, right? And I have to take control and responsibility of the decision, because I made the decision to be in that situation. Obviously, I made the decision to come out of it, but at the end of the day, I still found myself in it, you know? And yeah, I think it is literally, it's all about self-analysis and being self-aware and just, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, man, I love all of what you're saying. And this is why I do love many motivational speakers who always say, look at self, look at self, look at the man in the mirror, Michael Jackson. Yeah. Man in the mirror. You know, um, it's so empowering when you can take accountability, when you can come out of a, we're using relationships as an example, and you can, you know what, even, I, I know a lot of you can bear me witness, you're thinking, when you think back at all your exes that you've dated, you think, wow, what was I doing? Who, what, what the WTF was I doing? Yeah. With, not even just with that person, but the, you, you notice the vibration, the difference of vibration where you were at yeah. when you think of the ex person that you were dealing with or even the yeah. groups of friends yeah. that we were associating with. And it just... It's a beautiful thing because when you can have some kind of introspection, retrospection, you can see growth. And I think that's the most important thing. It's about growth. If you're stagnant, you're dead. If you're stagnant and dead is yeah. neutral or negative. Yeah. Positive is growth. It's, mm. There's got to be growth. There's got to be spiritual growth, economic growth, intellectual growth. So people, if you, it's like going to the gym. I've just got myself back into pushing weights again. If I can push a certain amount of weights one week, but the next week I've got to add an extra kilo onto it if mm -hmm. I want to see self-improvement. Yeah, I'm naturally cut as I am. Good, give God the thanks. But if I want to improve, I've got to improve my diet. I've got to improve my eating. I've got to, I've got to push a little extra. So if I'm going to do 10, when I'm at the tenth one, I literally something in my mind saying, mm. "Do an extra two. Yeah, we're gonna push ourselves, and this is important to me. I'm not mm. saying this to anyone. I'm saying this to me as well as everyone else. I'm not there yet. I'm 
just mm-hmm. like everybody else. We gotta push ourselves. You know when you're driving, you're tired, you feel like falling asleep. But yeah. you know if you fall asleep, you're dead. So there's something you draw extra gear in yourself. Yeah, this is yeah, yeah. now. Nah, come on. And you know what gives us the extra gear? Because we're talking about focus today. Yeah. The vision. You visualize yourself at home. You visualize yourself with your loved ones. You visualize yourself just making it back to your destination. And I think we have to control our vision. What we're thinking about, we bring about. Tell a live vision. Mm-hmm. Now, we will work on TV. Television can tell lies on us visually, and we tell lies on our own vision. We have to have the right vision walking into this strong. that we walk. I don't call it weak. We call it strong. In walking into the next Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, strong days ahead, we have to have the right vision of what we want to achieve, how we want to feel. I always say this, whatever you want in your life, it's a feeling. We think too much of physical money. Money is dead. Money is dead. It's inanimate. Gold is inanimate. This, these Mm -hmm. things are inanimate. What attracts it for purpose is frequency, how you feel. How you feel, you will draw what you need. Most God, universe, Allah, God, Jesus, Jehovah, will give you what you need at the right time because you can handle it. He ain't going to give you anything mm-hmm. until you're ready. Oh, so, no, you're not. Well, oh, that's well, ready. It's like having, being a father so we or a parent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know that you're not going to give your, let's just say, 10-year-old son a car. Because you just know he's not ready for a car. You know what I mean? He's not the right age. He ain't the right size. He ain't had gone through the lessons. He ain't practiced. He ain't in the right posture. You know what I mean? So there's certain blessings that we might be crying out for or wanting, saying, oh, why does not why doesn't God bless me with this? Or why does God not bless me with that? But really, we're not in a position to receive, you know? And God isn't a genie. You don't click your fingers and he just... You know, here you go. You know, like no, we have to actually be in a be in alignment. You know, what I mean, be in the right place, be in the right mindset, be in the Come right on. heart space to receive. Because if we get too much too soon, we either don't appreciate it, we take it for granted, we get big headed. You know, what I mean, it takes over us. And like you said, regarding money, I don't serve money. Money has to serve me. You know, what I mean. Money has to serve the purpose of what I need it for. You know, so allowing money to dictate your character, money to dictate your mannerisms, money to dictate, you know what I mean, your relationships. Like, no. Yeah, no. Well, they say the love of money is the root to all evil. The love of money. Love of not money. Having money. Yeah, not, not the... having money. Having money. You know what I mean? We all need money. You know what I mean? It's useful. It's handy. la di da di da But yeah, when you love money, you do anything for it. You sell your soul, your character, your integrity. You... Come on. Come on. Get yeah, things, man. Don't get things. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Walking into 2020, bless you, man. I'm saying, with all of what's going on in Europe right now, we know what's going on. We know what is looming on the horizon. We know. We hear. We see. People. Man. Look at Ladies like Chantel, look at what she's doing in the midst of a lockdown, opening shop, not number one, number two. No excuse. A lot of people over the lockdown just sleeping, watching Netflix. Nah. At least reflect, read, skill up yourself on things. Chantel, you've opened up two businesses. Chantel, you're getting married. Chantel, you're on Peckham's finest, and there's more to come. Thank you, bro. Thank you, thank you. Well, you know, that we'll do a recap. We'll do a recap in like six months. <laughs> Come on. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I know there's so much more that you can say and give. And we're going to do another. We're gonna, I'm going to do a, a, a one week, one, one of these days, one of these weekends. I'm going to get a couple of us to do a God talk. Because I make no apology to no man or woman that I believe in God, one million percent. And I make no apology for that. I mean, doesn't matter where I go, where I work, whatever industry. Yeah, I, yeah, I do believe in God. I believe in God. Not so, Sorry, 
I know God. Beyond belief now. How about that? You see? And I tell people straight, slap yourself if you don't believe in God. Because you know why? People believe in things that you can't see, like viruses. But yet you don't believe in God. Slap yourself. I know. You know? So that's me. I do. Unapologetically. I don't care what people think. I'm not going to move off that square. No one. No one. So I love what you're doing. And you're an inspiration to many women. Many people, you know, definitely to black women and all women of all uh, colors, you know, and all ages. And I want people to come and patronize your shop, best of both boutiques, Peckham. Please oh, give us the details. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, online, best of both boutique.co.uk, or you can come down to the shop, open Monday to Saturday, 10 30 to 6 p.m. in the marketplace, Peckham, which is opposite Boots. And yeah, and catch me on Peckham's Fine this every Wednesday, 10 p.m. on ITV2. Or you can watch it on ITV Hub. So that's all. <laughs> Peckham's Finest, babies. Peckham's what, what, Finest. What, what, what? Come on. <laughs> yeah. I, know, I literally had a lot more storylines <laughs> and whatnot coming. And I get that it's not everyone's cup of tea or whatever. But come support the thing, man. You know what I mean? It's an all black cast. Yeah. It's Peckham. You know what I mean? Like, on mainstream TV. Like, come on, man. Like, yeah. It's Peckham. Come on. Peckham. <laughs> home to Jim Viega. Home to actor Malachi Kirby. Not Malachi Kirby. Damson Idris. Home to Courtney Winston. Home <laughs> well, to Chantel. Home to me. Come on, come on. Don't tell everybody. Yeah, there's... <laughs> But yeah, I'm proud of you. And thank you for all those that engage. Sorry if I missed any like the comments or anything, you know what I mean, from above. I was just so into you know what I mean the conversation. I didn't even get to read any of the comments. Yeah, but oh, bless up, man. Bless up. Um, yeah. Okay. Yes, All right. yes, baby. See you soon. We'll see you soon. Congratulations on your proposal, your <laughs> wedding proposal. Yeah, big time. Big you, big you, and husband to be up. Love that. Big him up for me. Yeah, Thank love you. to you and the family. Love. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. No, no. Thank you. Take care. That's Chantel. Best of both boutiques. She's on the television show, ITV2, Peckham's Finest, man. Go and check that out. Listen, people, you know how we do at Black Car Speakers Lounge. Please, I need... You know what? We're going to pick up the followers. We're picking up the subscriptions. Slowly but surely, the race is not for the swift, but those who enjoy it for the end. Go onto our page, YouTube. YouTube, that is the Black Film Institute. The Black... Film Institute, YouTube. There's so many videos like what you've just seen here. Apologies for all the, this, uh, the in terms of disturbances. Mark Zuckerberg, you need to pattern up the meta that what you're doing. Mark Zuckerberg, pattern up. Well, listen, we need to get our own satellite system. I'm not joking. I'm not even kidding. I'm not for play. We need our own satellite <laughs> system. So please go and uh, subscribe to Black Car Speakers Lounge. Um which is on YouTube. I am doing fine. I've been great. This has been a great week. And I am positively focusing and meditating on my goals as Chantel, who is on Peckham's Finest, has done. And she's manifesting like you will manifest and can manifest. We're always manifesting, whether it's positive or negative. We're always manifesting, people. You know, and let's, let's, let us manifest the right things. You know, and I'll say, let's go into this week. Don't focus too much on what the, the crazy stuff that's going on in this world. Don't let it take you off your square. There's a lot of stuff that will trigger us via social media. There's a lot of stuff that will trigger us on the news. It's designed to control you. Listen, it's designed to control you. All of that nonsense that is going on, it's absolute, a travesty of justice, the Carl Rittenhouse verdict. We, what did you expect? What did we expect? Why are you... Don't be surprised. The American law system is not based on defending people of color. Let's just tell the truth. It's not. Yeah? It, it's not there for us. So, we need solutions. 
And the solution is, we need to have our own. Our own. Yeah? And over here, when it comes to policing um, people, young people especially, we need our own police force to police our young people. Those that know the young people. We need, this is what we need in the community. Because we best know our people. And that's the fact. And it's going to happen. And it's happening. Whether you like it, we need our own land. Facts. We're going to have our own land. We have our own land. Yeah? It's not just talk. It's happening. It's happening. Our own land. Everything. It's happening. It's that time right now. Because right now, people have shown themselves to be capable or unfit to govern the people. You are unfit to administer justice. When it's blatantly, you, you, you've got a man walking around with an AR-15 rifle, assault rifle, shooting people. You are unfit now, America speaking, of administering justice when the evidence is plain in your face. You've had years to administer justice and you have now defaulted. You've been derelict in your duty, the American government. You've been, whether you're Republican or Democrat, I'm not getting into that nonsense, that divide and rule. You've been derelict in your duty to administer injustice. We are not surprised over here. We're like, yeah, okay. We know. We, we learned even way before Trayvon Martin. We knew. We know. So, you know, what we've got to do, we just got to do what we've got to do. Not everything's for talking over on this side. We just got to do what we need to do. And in the meantime, we present positive people to come on the platform, regardless of your background, regardless of your creed, color, race, or orientation. We bring people forward to inspire you, to motivate you throughout, not your weak, but your strong. I'm going to need every one of you to share this video. I'm going to need every one of you to patronize this and to get uh, subscribers for the Black Film Institute on our YouTube, ch uh, YouTube channel. Please follow us on this page on Instagram. We're growing, we're growing. I received beautiful messages, especially one from a lovely friend of ours called Marcia Francis, big yourself up. You inspire me to keep doing what we're doing. You inspire us, because it's not just about me. We're looking for a team of young editors, by the way. It's a call out for young editors. We're trying to put, the, no, we're not trying. We're gonna, we're putting the platform on another level. We're looking for young editors. Subscribe, follow, we'll be back next week. And let us know, for any suggestions you have, let us know, because we're gonna carry it into practice. But people, don't be distracted. Stay focused on your purpose today. On your phone. On the, stay focused. Don't come off. Don't go to the left. Don't go to the right. Stay focused. Okay? Have a blessed, strong days ahead. Not weak, because over here, we don't do weak. We do strong. We're blessed over here. As 20, 20 bless you is upon us, let's stay focused. Write down your goals. Do the vision board, as Santa was saying. Images go into your subconscious mind. Anyway, Peace. See you in a week. Not in a week, but in the strong. Peace.